I got quite a number of requests for me to react to this gotcha life mini movie called Mafia's Baby Girl, so I will have the original in the description down below and let me know what other gotcha stories you'd like to see me react to next. Huh? Oh, it's Evelyn. Babe, you okay? When will you come back? Soon. Now it's almost midnight. Aren't you supposed to sleep? I can't sleep. Well then, try to sleep again. <laughs> Dude, hurry up. Uh, did he really just hang up? Whatever. What do I do now? Should I try to sleep again? But I can't sleep without his embrace. I guess I need to be ready to be scolded. Well, I'm just gonna go play some games on my phone while waiting for him. Yep, that's me. Hi, I'm Evelyn Shell and I'm 19 and yeah, I'm still a high school student. Basically, I'm an orphan or that's what people think I am. My parents kicked me out of the house because they think I'm useless. But I'm actually pretty glad they did because if they didn't, I would probably never have met him. When my parents kicked me out, I kind of stumbled into a mafia boss, you know, no big deal. And then I became his hostage, but then we fell in love and blah blah blah. It's a long story, so let's just focus on the presents. 20 minutes later... <laughs> <laughs> Yay, I won! Okay, that's enough for today. He's not home yet. Huh? He's here! Hi, Logan! Didn't I tell you to sleep? I was waiting for you! Why do you have to wait for me? You know you could just sleep. I can't sleep without your cuddles. Look, I understand, but you're not a five-year-old kid. You need to learn how to sleep by yourself. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry for scolding you. It's okay. It was my fault anyways. Let's sleep. You have school tomorrow, right? Mm-hmm. The next day? Babe, I can't drive you to school today. But why? I have a meeting. But who's going to drive me then? Zane. But you promised me you will drive me to school. I know, and I'm sorry, babe. But... I'll repay you with the date tomorrow, hmm? I'd love to! Well then, I should go now. Okay! Bye, princess. Love you. Love you too! Uh, seriously? This girl is daydreaming about Logan again? Mrs. Park, it's time to go! Don't call me that! What? You need to get used to it since people are going to call you that after your marriage. But we're not even married yet! Yeah, I know, but as I said, you need to get used to it first. Ugh, whatever. Okay, let's go now. Mrs. Spark. At school? <laughs> Boo! Uh, why didn't you get scared? Bruh, you do this every day. I'm used to it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Where's Li- I'm here! So, um, why are you running? I thought I was late. Well, that's what you get for waking up late. It's not my fault, okay? That stupid Mr. Griffin gave us a lot of homework. Imagine if you were in my place. Okay, okay, chill. Uh, Okay, laugh all you want. <laughs> hey, guys, why are you wearing the same hat? Oh, wow, did you forget? Such a great friend. I don't understand why you're wearing the same hat. I thought this is Thursday. You know what? I'm so done with you. Let's just go to class. This is my two idiots, and also the only ones I could trust on. Your names are Lisa and Mint. You're the only ones who know in this school that I'm dating Logan. Because I don't want to make too much attention and to make people think I'm a liar. At lunch? Oh, I'm so full. Duh, you literally ate 40 chicken nuggets. Now that I think about it, how does that even fit in your lunchbox? Hmm, whatever. <laughs> um, Evelyn, you okay? Uh, of course. Your cheeks are really red. What are you talking about? I'm fine. Uh, uh, okay. Dude, do you even know what's going on? Uh, no. Can you see Evelyn is texting her mafia boyfriend? Ooh! You guys okay? We're perfectly fine. Um, okay. So, who are you texting to? Oh, I know. Probably her boyfriend. What did he say to make you blush so hard, eh? Just shut up! He didn't say anything. Come on, just admit it. I told you, he didn't say anything. Let me see. Ah, uh, Mint, bring them back. Can you shut your mouth so I can peacefully read? Ah! Oh no! Babe, have you eaten lunch yet? Yep. Good. I gotta go now. We'll talk later, baby girl. What? <laughs> You're so cute. Uh, I see. He called you his favorite nickname. Yes, okay. Now bring my phone back. I'll give it to you at class. 
Oh, she's dead! Sorry I'm late. It's okay. Okay, then let's go. Wait! Hmm? Can I go to Logan's company? Why? I just miss him. I don't know, Evelyn. What if I got scolded or something? Don't worry, I'll tell him I insist. You better. Okay, let's go now. Why do you stop? I need to use the restroom. Stay here and don't go anywhere. Uh, okay... I guess I'm just gonna wait. Minutes later... Where is... Is that dude? Miss? Me? Of course, miss. <laughs> yes? Well, basically, I've been seeing Miss standing there doing nothing for quite a while now. And well, I thought I could help you with something. I understand, but I'm just waiting for my friend. Is Mrs. Friend a worker here? Um, well, not really. Then what is... Eve? Why did you take so long? I'm sorry, okay? Whatever. Are they dating? They look pretty much like a couple. I didn't know Mrs. Boyfriend is Mr. Zane. Uh, ew, I would never date him. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, let's go, Eve. Wait. Yes? Where are we? You don't need to be worried. Logan's office is over there. Do you want me to take you there? No, I'm an independent woman. I can go by myself, thank you very much. Okay, but remember... Yes, yes, shut up. Let's talk about this later. Yes, sir. Come in. What is it? Uh, uh, Eve, what are you doing here? Well, basically, I just miss you, so I came here. Why didn't you text me or call me that you're coming here? I could have prepared you so many treats. Uh, oh, it's okay. You can still get some treats. Anyways, where's Zane? Probably guarding our home. Oh, and also, please don't be mad at Zane. Why would you think I'll be mad at him? Well, I don't know, because he didn't obey you. Don't worry, I'm not mad. I'm glad that you came here. Shut up, you're making me blush. <laughs> How's school? Good. Only good? I mean amazing! Tell me if someone hurt you. But anyways, I probably should start working now. You can sit in the lounge area. It's over there. Can I sit beside you instead, please? No. <gasps> okay, bye! <sighs> what to do? <sighs> Baby, what- Hey, what are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Nothing. I was just bored. Where's your phone? With Zane. Here, use my phone. Yay! You're gonna get punishment for hurting yourself. But, but, Logan, I wanna hang out with my friends tomorrow. What do you mean? You're just gonna cook my fave food for me the whole week. Oh! Are you hungry? Not yet. Now go back to work! Yes, your majesty. Huh? I'm bored again. Maybe I should see what Logan's up to. And maybe change into something more comfortable. Are you two okay? There's a girl behind you, sir. Oh, she's just my girl. Oh, baby sister! Ooh! Well, it's nice to meet you, miss. Uh, yeah! Well then, sir, I should go now. Yeah, okay. Excuse me, miss. Oh my gosh, sir, I'm so sorry for being late. You're always late. I know, sir, but I'm sorry I got stuck in traffic. You're lucky because we're just talking about some important stuff. As for being late, you have to tour her around. I would love to, sir. And change her into some comfortable clothes. Yes, sir. And here is the cafeteria. It looks nice. I know. Anyways, I never got your name. Oh, right, my name is Evelyn. Oh, wow, that name really suits you. Well, my name is Jessica. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. By the way, are you dating Mr. Park? What? No, that would be ridiculous. I'm his sister. <laughs> nah, you're lying. You guys don't even look like siblings. That's because I'm his step-sister. But as far as I know, Mr. Park doesn't even have a sister. He even says that I'm public that he has no siblings nor step-siblings. So you're lying. Okay, okay, I was lying. But please don't tell anybody about our relationship. Why? It's just, I don't want to make people think I'm a liar. I mean, why would a guy like him date a fat loser? You're not even fat. You know you don't need to lie. Either way, just ignore those people. And you better tell them fast. There's a lot of workers here that have a crush on Mr. Park. Okay. Anyways, let's go get you some good clothes. Ugh, I knew it. They don't even look like siblings. What does she have that I don't? She's literally fat and not even pretty. Ugh, this is so unfair. At night. Oh, uh, finally. I miss you, bed. Oh, so you don't miss me? Uh, no, because I was literally with you like 24-7. Okay, then I'm just gonna go sleep in the guest bedroom. Hey, don't go. 
Why? I'll miss you. <laughs> I knew it. So, when are we gonna tell them? Tell them what? Our relationship? Uh, I don't know. We have to tell them this year. But what about your reputation? If you tell them about me, you will lose your reputation. I told you, I don't care about reputation. I just want to make sure the world knows I'm yours. And you're mine. So stop thinking about my reputation. Oh. By the way, tomorrow we're gonna hang out. But what? Don't worry, I already canceled all of my schedule. Now let's go to sleep. Okay, but basically we did go. And sometimes people give us weird and shocked looks, but we shrugged it off. We just want to enjoy our time together. And me and Logan would hang out since then. He would take the day off for one week just to hang out with me. And luckily we're not in the news, so there's still no one in my school and at work that knows about us. And at school, well, Lisa and Mint are always there for me. Everything is going great. Until... Oh, hey, guys. Evelyn. Yeah? Sasha's back. What are you guys talking about? You heard the new student, right? The new student is actually Sasha. I... Talking about me already? Sasha! This is Sasha. Basically, she's the childhood mean girl. But then she moved to London years ago. I was of course happy that finally she was out of my life. And I didn't expect that she would come back. So, what are you gonna do, Evelyn? You should tell Logan about this. Are you insane? Logan would truly kill her! Well, I meant she deserves it, but... I don't want people to die because of me. But you can't just let her do whatever she wants with you every day. You need to tell him. I'll think about it. At home? What are you doing here? Logan wants me to be here. To make you feel not too lonely while he's at work. Oh, okay. You look a bit down. It's nothing. I'm going to my room. At night? I heard from Zane that you're feeling down after you came back from school. Perhaps there's something that happened at school? Uh, uh no! I meant, no, I, I just wasn't in a good mood at that time. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Just don't give me those stares. It's just, my grades are falling. That's why. What subject? Uh, math? Every night we're gonna learn math. And no buts! If you need me, I'll be at my office. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Why did I say that? This is the end of me! Basically, I still kept it a secret because I'm scared. But though Sasha wasn't lying about spare me for one day. So every day when I came back from school, I always looked a bit down. And that makes Logan question me every day of why I'm feeling down every time I came back from school. Because Zane would tell him about it. I tell him why, but I know he's still a bit suspicious. But he shrugged it off. I just don't want people to die because of me. I know it's stupid, but I just can't. But one day, I just had enough. So what happened? Mr. Hudson wants us to bring our guardians tomorrow. As you know, I'm an orphan. And I also don't have any siblings. Dude, just bring Logan instead. Since he is your boyfriend. I don't know, Mint. Please leave. I want to experience some drama. Please. Can you, like, get up? People are watching. So, are you going to tell Logan? I'll think about it. <gasps> Logan, wait. Yes? I... Um... I... Eve, just spit it out. Oh, well, um, well, uh, should I tell him? But what if he will get mad at me? Uh, Eve. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> tell me. T tell me what? Tell me or I'll punish you. Uh, okay, okay, I'll tell you. But can you, like, love me, please? No. I know. I kind of got in slight trouble at school. What happened? Well... I got in a fight with- A fight? I'm sorry, BB. I understand if you're mad at me. I'm not mad at you, silly. I'm just a bit surprised. Aren't you a softy? A softy doesn't mean can't fight. So you're okay with it? You're dating a mafia, baby girl. Is there anything else? Uh... The principal wants me to bring a guardian to school. And you know I'm an orphan, so... So you're saying that you want me to come to your school tomorrow as your guardian? Well, uh, yeah. I can't. Uh, wait, Logan! Hmm? Why can't you go? I thought you didn't want anyone to know about me. I know, but who else am I gonna bring? Plus, I already promised to my friends. Sorry, I have a mission tomorrow. Ah, <sighs> he really cares about his mission more than me. But... 
I don't blame him. Tomorrow? Are we going now? Change of plans. We're going to Evelyn's school first. Why? Her principal wants me. <laughs> time to flex. I'm still wondering why did I choose you? Because you love me. Duh. Now enough talk. Let's get dressed. <sighs> hey, guys. Hey, Eve. So, where's Logan? He didn't come. Why? He has a mission. Where is he? Lisa, chill. Then who's your guardian? No one. Evelyn Cho, please come to my office now. Wish me luck. Ugh, what's taking so long? Sasha, just be patient. Ugh, uh, what took you so long? I'm so sorry, sir. It's okay, go sit down. So where's your guardian? I didn't bring my guardian. Didn't I tell you to bring one? I I'm sorry, sir, but my guardian is busy. He's on his mission right now, so we can't come. Then who is your guardian? He can't come because of a mission? His name is Logan Park. So you're saying that you're dating Logan Park, huh? And by the way, honey, he's my boyfriend. No, he's not. Okay, let's just keep it easy. Evelyn, just call your guardian. No need. Mr. Logan, oh, what is sir doing here? Do you have another chair or something? You can sit in my chair. Don't worry, you can sit there. O okay. Now, baby, what are you doing here? Are you here to accompany me? <laughs> You're so sweet. Uh, let go of me. I don't want my girlfriend to be jealous. So you're saying you're dating her? Yes, have a problem with that? Now, can you please get out of my way? Hmm, why are you so scared, Mr. Hudson? Wait, I never told you his name before. How did you- He has a debt that he's never paid yet. Look, sir. Shut up. I have a mission to attend. Now, tell me what do you want? Will- Will you see, sir? Stop stuttering. Logan, a little help would be great. Guards, on it, sir. Continue. Well, you see, sir, Mrs. E punched Mrs. Sasha's face. Look what she's done to my eyes. My baby would never do this. And that's a fact. Baby, can you wait for me outside? Okay. Thank you for helping me. Just doing my job, sir. Hi, guys. Oh, hey, Eve. Where's Logan? He's still inside. Probably shouting at all of them. Logan? So what happened? Five minutes later. Dude, I think that's enough kisses. We still have a mission to attend. We can continue this after your mission. Fine. Well, we should go now. Can I go home? Why? It just doesn't feel right to be in this kind of situation. Aren't you gonna get bored alone? My friends can accompany me. Please. Fine. Since that accident, people started to become extremely nice to me. They treated me like a queen. They gave me too much attention. I just kind of hate it sometimes. But I know they're only doing this because they know that I'm dating Logan. Uh, but I guess that's fate. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, no thanks. Okay, call me if you need me. So, how does it feel to be the center of attention? Terrible. How come? They treat me like an actual queen. It's just, they gave me too much attention. Ugh, what are you looking at? Ugh, can't you see I'm looking at her? It's just so unfair. She literally gets all of the attention. It makes total sense, Sasha. She is dating Logan Park. Don't you even know who he is? He literally just got your mother fired from her job. I bet she literally literally just using him. Whatever you say. Can you be more supportive just one time? What do you mean? I don't know. Give me some plans to make your life worse. Agree with me for once. Can't you be more grateful that I'm still here? Mel literally just dumped you because you hooked up with her boyfriend. Whatever. Hey, I heard someone likes you. Who? That light violet hair girl. I heard her name is Sasha. You mean that girl who had a fight with Evelyn? Yeah. So? Why would you think I want to date that brat? She's not my type. Plus, she's literally fighting with Logan Park's girlfriend. Pathetic. Now that's my bro. Ugh. You okay? That's it. Give me your water. Why? I'm thirsty. Now give me. Uh, here. Hmm. Hey, where are you going? Ah. Oops, sorry. My bad. Oh my gosh, that was so humiliating. Oh, my hair. I should go home now. <gasps> Miss. Oh, hi, Linda. Why 
Why did you come back from school so fast? And why does Miss Clothes and hair wet? Oh, uh, I kind of purposely splashed myself with water, yeah. So I got permission to go home. Anyways, I should go take a shower now. One hour later. Uh, um, why are you looking at me like that? Stop with the act, Eve. I seriously don't know what you're talking about. Linda told me that when you came back from school, your clothes and hair were wet. And I know someone splashed you. Now tell me who it is. Ugh, I thought wearing Logan's hoodie would bring me good luck. I could hear you, you know. Okay, look, it's not that serious anyways. So let's just forget it. Tell me or I report this to Logan. Okay, okay, fine. But promise, don't tell Logan about this. Yeah, yeah, of course, totally. Okay, so... I got splashed with water. I already know, doo-doo head. Okay, well, I was about to tell you, but you interrupted me. Well, why can't you just get to the point? Because where's the fun in that? Can you both shut up? I'm trying to get my beauty sleep. This is all your fault. If you didn't interrupt me, this would never happen. Well, if you just get to the point, this would have never happened. Well, you... Okay, shut up. I don't want to fight with the child again. Now, just please tell me who did this so we can get it over with. Okay, okay. Her name is Sasha. Wait, isn't that the girl who literally just fought with you a week ago? Yeah. Dang, that girl has some nerves. You know, you should date her since your ideal type of girl is brave. But not a brat. Anyways, I'm totally gonna tell Logan this. Hey! Uh, you said you promised! Don't be such an idiot loser, Eve. Now go and just sit there. I'm not an idiot loser! Ugh. How dare you say I'm an idiot loser? If he sees my grades, he probably would want to take his words back. Come on, man, pick it up. With Logan? That would be delightful, Mr. Park. <laughs> yeah, so what do you say? I would like to work with you, Mr. Park. Thank you very much, Mrs. Miller. Please call me Zoe. Or maybe my lady. Oh, uh, excuse me. Wow, he's really tall and more handsome than I expected. What is it? Dude, it's me, Zane. So, um, I just want to say there's something happening at Eve's school. What happened? Is she okay? Yeah, chill, dude. Anyways, it's not that serious, but basically someone splashed Eve with water. That's it? She got splashed in front of everybody in her school. So I suggest you to come home and cheer her up. Oh. Only an O? Well, what do you want me to say? I have a meeting right now. More important than that, don't be so dramatic, Zane. She just got splashed. Splashed. It's not like she's hurt anyways. Uh, I... Oh my gosh, Eve, are you okay? Logan, come home fast! Is she okay? Uh, hello? Zane! That should do it. Yo, since when are you there? Ah, I see you didn't hear me. That's maybe because I mastered the ninja techniques. Hiya! But anyways, why are you like screaming my name like I'm dying? Well, that's how to make your cold, selfish boyfriend come home. Why do you even need him to go home? Look at me, I'm okay. Apart from that, be grateful I did this to you. You'll be dead meat later. Yeah, probably. Let's end this conversation here, Mrs. Zoe. So you're saying you don't want to work with me anymore? I didn't say anything related to that. B but we're not even done yet. I'm here to know if you want to work with me. And for the rest, we'll talk about it later. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Miller. Ugh, I literally wore this tight dress for him, and I didn't even see him blush once. Everybody falls for me in just a glare. Is he even single? Hmm, Logan! What happened? Are you hurt? Who splashed water? I'll kill him. Are you sick? Did you want me to take you to the hospital? Logan, it's just a misunderstanding. And don't worry, I'm okay. What about this bandage? I kind of accidentally hurt myself, but I'm okay. Then why is Zane shouting like you're dying? He's just pranking you. Wait, it's not really like a prank cause I'm a- uh... Go to my office. Now! You okay, right? Yes. We'll talk about this later, bun. Am I really that hot to handle? Just go and lecture Zane! If you say so. Ah, uh, such a flirt! Okay, let's go to bed. Wait. Yes? You didn't tell me yet about the girl who splashed you. Oh, right! Well, basically, it's the girl from last week. You mean that light violet brat girl? Well, uh, I guess? I told you, we could have killed her when we had the chance. She has a mother, you idiot! I don't care. That is not what I taught you. Ouch, ouch, Eve, babe! This is so unfair. I can't even be mad at you. I know. Play here one more time and you will get mercy tonight. Okay, okay. Now enough talk. Let's go to sleep. I'm tired. Wait, what? Have you ever thought of being a mafia? Logan, where did that question come from? And you know I don't like violence. You literally had a fight with someone just a week ago. Shut up. That was my first fight with someone. And why are you questioning me about this? Like, 
This is pretty random. I make a new enemy every week, Eve, and every time they get stronger. I'm just scared that if they find you and target you, you know I can't always be there for you. Look, Logan, no matter how much I can understand you, I just can't. Please, Eve, this is for your safety. Be my mafia queen, Eve. We could be the mafia couple, so what do you say? Hmm? Okay, okay. Alrighty, so that was Mafia's Baby Girl, a gotcha life mini movie. I will have the original in the description down below. Let me know what other gotcha stories you like to see me react to next, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like, and if you're new, subscribe to Kamei Mermaid or Merman. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.